There are three common stitches done on a serger, a four thread overlock, a three thread overlock, and a rolled hem. So on the Bernina L850, when switching from a four thread construction seam to a three thread narrow overlock for like single layers of fabric, it's as easy as first taking your scissors and trimming the thread that's going through the left needle, take the spool off the machine and take it off completely. So go ahead and don't let that uh, tail hang and dangle with its friends. It will come back and find a way in. All we need to do is take the left needle out. So find the tools that you're looking for in the front cover. I always reach for the handheld needle threader because on this end it can catch my needle plus the screwdriver. So as you slide this up the left needle, the three thread overlock can actually be done with either the right or left needle. So taking out the left one means that we're left with a right needle, a narrower version of this stitch. But if I had left this one in and taken out the right needle, I would get a wider stitch. Now what do you do with this needle when you take it out? You know, in this little area here, there is kind of a pin cushion or needle cushion. So it can store your needles until you need to put them back in. Oh, before I actually go further, let's go ahead and tighten up that screw just so it doesn't wiggle loose. Good habit to get into and then put your tools back where they belong. So you don't have to worry about that little thread that's down in this area here. Just go ahead and serge. Now, when you go from a four thread to a three thread, you're probably gonna need to adjust the cutting width. So if you find that when you are surging, that you're, you might have a little loops hanging off the edge here. It's just because there's not enough fabric left to fill that in. So you're gonna use the knob down in this area to increase that, um, move the knife a little further away from the needle. That way it will kind of fill it out. Now you don't wanna to go too, too far. That way you um, get too much fabric in there and you can use the micro thread control to kind of move that little finger so it puts just the right amount of thread on the edge. So both these edges look good, but this one just looks so much prettier as I was really able to fine tune how close the fabric got to the edge of the stitching. And this is just the perfect width to really have a nice overlock edge, especially if I'm just doing single uh, layers. Maybe I'm going around all my pieces before I sew them together. Or maybe you like to, when you wash your fabric after you bought it, that you don't like all those threads hanging off when you uh, wash it and dry it. Just take and serge with a three thread overlock along just your cut ends. So those are the non selvage side of your fabrics. And then when you wash them, they will not turn into that ball of threads that you might get frustrated with. So this is a perfect stitch for a lot of things. We even use it on knit fabric if you're just looking for a nice delicate seam. Uh, without both needles, it is a usable, very stretchable seam to use as well. So three thread, easy to get to and set up the machine for. But once you're set up for a narrow three thread overlock, you're just a couple steps away from doing a rolled hem.